NCRP Productions presents The Alien RPG by Free League Publishing and Modifius Games, Episode 3. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are playing Alien, the role playing game. I'm joined here by my friends. My name is David. Uh, I'll be your game master. My name is Aaron, and I am playing Davis, the pilot. Uh, my name is David. I am playing Wilson, the company agent. Hey, this is Barry. I'm running Cam, the roughneck. This is Matt. I'm playing Lucas, the scientist, who's suffering extreme uh, anti-android sediment right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jill, and I'm playing Vanessa Miller. She is the captain and the officer. All right. So, when last we left off, uh, you guys had discovered this ghost ship, the Cronus and had managed to uh, successfully board it from the Montero and discovered that as, you, as the power came back on, the mother unit on the Cronus brought life support back on and woke up the remaining crew of five members. As you interacted with them, uh, you quickly discovered that the scientist, Dr. Cooper, uh, had some type of contagion or some type of parasite within him that eventually resulted in his violent death. I'm thinking it's not plague anymore. I'm not thinking it's plague, <laughs> but it was some kind of organism inside that uh, you know resulted in his violent death in the met in one of the cryo decks. And currently, uh, we have Lucas the synthetic with some type of xenomorph, neomorph creature that has evolved in within minutes of the uh, of being you know removing itself from uh, Cooper's head cavity, you know, if you will. <laughs> And he just came out of cryosleep. And he just he had just come out of cryosleep. The rest of the crew of the Cronus and Lucas have been locked in the cryo lab by Captain Miller. Cam, who is the innocent bystander, is watching it all go down as he stands in the hallway. And we've got uh, you know Company Agent Wilson and Pilot Davis aboard the Montero as the mother unit on the Montero again issues a proximity uh, warning that the system is going to overload and 10 minutes to explosion, to detonation. Right. And that came across to the bridge, not to state system-wide, which then give Miller and myself the ability to know. Correct, mundo. Okay. Okay. So, for first point of order, I'm going to alert, since I I got that alert over the, the comms. Um, I'll, I'll, you want me to go over the alert one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, the alert was, cascade failure imminent fission reactor overload in T-10 minus minutes. Uh, so, Captain, some bad shit's gonna happen in about ten minutes. You better get the F out of that ship ASAP. We need to override that command. Wait a minute. Like what? What Can kind we, of crap are we dealing with? Uh, like it is gonna be a nuclear explosion. The ship that we're on? The ship that you are currently on. Wilson. So, GTFO, motherfucker. So this, at this point, as, as you guys communicate, this is the situation. Everyone's stress level increases. Another one. Another one? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. So, if I had delivered that like message a little bit more subtly, would it have not increased? <laughs> You're all like, I don't want to be a bummer. <laughs> and I think you're great. I don't know how you deliver the news today. The ship's going to explode. So I want to take, and you're on it. I want you yeah. to just have a deep breath first before I tell you this. Because <laughs> there's parachutes over here. <laughs> don't freak the fuck out, but freak the fuck out. Yeah. Cam, go back to the ship. Uh, Roger. <laughs> so back to the ship that's exploded. Right. No, <laughs> no, 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 off no. the ship. Back I'm to the Montero. The Cronus. Back to You're Montero. On the, Cronus. the the message came from the Montero. What I just the asked f- that. Wait a minute. Wait. What, what, what the fuck? The ship you on is gonna blow up. Mother oh. unit on the Montero. Everyone get another stress oh, point. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, this unit, this came from the Montero's mother unit. I misunderstood. Mother, what seems to be the problem? And you get again. You get the you get the cascade failure. You know. Uh, what is that? Okay. Outside reactor, that, what does cascade so failure the, mean? The reactor. What? The reactor on the Montero is has somehow been overloaded and is going to basically melt down. Can that I shut going down? back for supplies. Can I suit up and shut down the the the, fish, the nuclear fission reactor? Yeah. So you can to suit prevent. Up. To prevent, we need um, to transfer no, ships. You, you, you can suit up, and you can and you can enter the reactor room where the reactor is. 
based on what state it's in, if it's overloading, then there may be massive radiation leaking from the reactor. I don't give a fuck. Would, I'm going to try and shut that fucker down. Death. Now we're back to the Spock thing. I'm, right. I'm going to try to shut that fucker down. Yeah. You know? I have and forever will be your friend. <laughs> both, of, both of you suit up. Get ready to come over to... So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm suiting up right I am now. running down the umbilicus. I'm putting on I'm autopilot. Loading shit, into, yep, yeah. loading shit into the Montero. Okay. I'm so, going to grab food supplies. I, did not, I was bulk, not aware. Medical. Situation. I'm going to take three runs. Yeah. Yeah. Just to clarify. From the Montero. Right? <laughs> the came from, you. from the, Mon- okay. from the yeah. Montero. Okay. To the I was getting ready to like fly away oh, from fly this shit. No big deal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now it is. The other, the other point of concern is that you guys are carrying 200,000 tons of tritium gas. Oh, right. Shit. Uh, yeah, I need to shut that shit down ASAP. Out. That is priority number one for Or me. eject. Hey, we can eject. No, it's not going to matter. If the ship fucking blows, it's going to blow. It's not going to matter what's on it. Yeah. Just, I'm not losing just, this see. payload. I'm not losing <laughs> this payday. Okay, motherfucker? We're going mi- to fix this shit right now. Somebody's going to go in the loader. Hold on, loader. So, okay, so wait. I have a thought. Okay. It just came to me. Do we have the cargo netting that holds these things in place, or are they locked to the floor? How are they held in place? They're strapped to the floor. Strapped to the floor. So there's not a slick or something that we could transfer. No, it Send sounds like one at a time tor- type of thing. They, so they're so no, no, large. No. These containers are so large that you basically would unhook them, then you would use Daisy to, to grab them and hy- you know, hydraulically lift them and then move them. Yeah, All it's right. one at a time They're one at thing. a time. They're like the size of this room. Okay, Davis. I'm, I'm, of them. I'm gonna get in there, but you tell me how you think we're gonna save all of this stuff. We just have to. We just gotta shut down that nuclear reactor ASAP. So I'm gonna run over there. <laughs> Got people running the reactor on their own. <laughs> people up there. We're gonna save the cargo. Quick, get the TV. <laughs> so everybody, hold on before you do anything. Everybody, get in your suits. Who isn't in a suit already? I'm in that step one. Mother. Before you even do that, I have something for you. Right. You have so, nine minutes so to reach minimum can, right? safe so distance. You go, you know, you say, everyone get in a suit if you're not already in a suit. Right? Eight, okay, Mother, well, Cal, but, why? And we are still in initiative. All right, mm-hmm. so right now we are currently at initiative four on Cap. Cap's turn. Why is my reactor uh, going to explode? Uh, it appears, Captain, that the, uh, the computer, the mainframe computer on board the Cronus has overridden my, my circuitry. Mm-mm. And issued the command and uh, is into a non-reversible state. The uh, reactor has reached an unstable level and uh, explosion is imminent. I give her my code. Yeah, she she basically just told you like yeah, it's too late. The reactor is already over. Unreversible. Yeah, it's irreversible. It's already over. But I can manually over like I can manually shut down the nuclear fission engine, right? So you can shut down the engines, but once a reactor, uh, a nu- nuclear reactor, starts overloading, it like it, it goes, it's a runoff. Way it's like, to yeah, there's a point where it you can't can, yeah. turn. You can't cool it down. Is yeah. there any way to? Uh, That's exactly what happened. Chernobyl. Checked the reactor into space. No, not on your ship. You don't have a removable engine part where you can, like separate the bridge. You know, like that would be a nice feature. The bridge separates right and just goes where they did. they did that one of the episodes, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're at this point. Um, you're feeling like, wow, all all this time and all this effort that you've invested into this ship is about to be ripped from you. Lucas, is there anything that you can do to try and interface with Mother? So I was already going to. Uh... He's a little busy. Okay. You're fighting an alien right now. Yeah, right. right? Yeah, yeah. As far as I know, though. Oh, you're looking through the window. He's like fighting this thing. He's oh. like, you know, this oh, thing like okay. jumped at him. He like got out of the way. But he's and a fucking he android. A, he sprayed like, it with a uh, fire extinguisher. But he you know, can he's multitask, right? Well, he's, he's all, can you go ahead and uh, while you're in there? <laughs> Dude is a fucking walking computer. He can't multitask. Is that what you're telling me? It's, it's hard for R2-D2 to interface with, you know, the trash compactor and be in the back of the X-Men at the same time. I was, I mean... If I could, I'd like to execute one command. Go ahead. And because the humans are being emotional and erratic right now. <laughs> it's that's my ship! Is that... Oh, these soon, humans? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as everyone is off the ship, to set coordinates and maximum speed just to get away from this ship. You do that on your turn, right? Okay. So you've done. So you've you performed a fast action by issuing commands, getting a suit, right? And then you can sacrifice your slow action for another fast action. Say, Lucas, I need you to interface with the computer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So that was on four. Who's got five? All right. Wilson. Okay. I'm gonna check. 
You keep that. That is your initiative. Yeah, I'll go oh, What kind of distance we need for minimum safe distance from the reactor, from the explosion? And how much time it'll take us for to get to get that point? All right, so you are going... Give me a piloting roll. Or you're just asking mothers. Mother, how long do we have before we die? I'm trying to think of it I first. hope you guys are suiting up while you're asking these questions. I mean, I did say that I was, but it wasn't my initiative, so I'm not sure. One success. You know that if you were in a capable ship... You could probably, if, well, if it was a faster than light ship, you know, you could totally get away, uh, probably if you had two minutes, you know, so you've got about eight minutes. You're saying in the Cronus. But right now, the only other ship is the Cronus, and you don't even know if this ship works. But there is a thing we could do. I can tell you. He's got a plan. Okay. Can you set it for autopilot after we get transferred to the other ship, it jumps away? I mean, yeah, I can do that. Because it, That's no problem. I think it takes about two minutes to be minimum safe distance. From the Montero, if it explodes. You're telling me I need to suit up right now and get into the other ship and pilot that. No, I'm saying if you put Montero on autopilot, uh, we'll transfer ships and it'll blast away from here so that we don't get caught in the explosion. But you're still telling me I have to blast away from here on this ship that no, I have never flown before. You mean the you have to get off the ship? Yeah, I have to get off the ship and pilot the Cronus, which I do not know what kind of ship it is. I don't either. I, I hope. I wish this Whatever, was the case. fuck it. I can fly anything. It's fine. Let's go. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. So, and then run down the hallway to go get to the suit. So. Shit. You discussed this with. There goes David. Hey. Do I see anything from the corporation as far as override codes? No. Before I go? Okay. But you did receive the communication. Yeah. Okay. So you head down. You get suited up. <laughs> <Straight>. <laughs> oh, He's such a handsome boy. That cable feels oh, good. I'm a cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Captain. so you go down and begin getting in a suit. So uh, it takes several minutes without help to get into a suit. So it's going to take, it takes a shift, you know, to uh, get into a suit. So which is going to be, I'm going to say in this, in this instance, it's going to take you two minutes. So by the time you get into a suit by yourself, you're going to hear mother come on and say, You have eight minutes to Yeah, she was going to say, yeah, uh, reactor overload in T-minus nine minutes, right? You guys are suiting up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're doing the same. You're also suiting up. I mean, is a, a fast action or a slow action? To suit up, it's a very slow action. It actually takes... It Does takes, it take a fast action and a slow action? It takes longer than a combat round oh. to, put on, to fully put on a suit by yourself. Okay. If you've got help, then it reduces that time. But since you guys are both putting on suits individually, it's going to take you roughly two minutes to, to put this suit on. What if we help each other, even though Probably I don't one minute really each. like them? Still going to take two minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right. You help then him for him. a minute. I'm going to do he my own thing. You for a minute, right? Or you guys each take two minutes to put your own suit okay. on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, cool. We are in a niche, though. So that was on eight. Five. We have five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight. You're putting on your suit. We're going to wrap right around to one, which is our Bloodburster friend. All right, so uh. Bloodburster is going to... Make a melee attack. All right, here we go. Don't forget to roll your stress. Oh, you don't have stress dice. Gotta love being an android. Oh, yeah, baby. No, oh, man. Did you not Hi. get a single one, man? Yeah, you roll a lot of dice, so I have two. All right. I'm gonna, I'd like to spend a resource. Okay, all right. <laughs> You're gonna spend one, one of the groups, or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, yeah. Oh. And then there were two for the group. How many did you get? None. None. Twice? You yeah. all those dice got none oh, twice? Oh, man, I Matt. love it. Oh, I no. love it. <laughs> but it's good. It makes for good storytelling. It's, uh, because things don't ever go the hero's ways. It's fine. It's mutant mm. year zero all over. Good. Yes. <laughs> Ten dice for strength. No <laughs> successes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you spray this thing with the with the fire extinguisher, and it, it shakes its bulbous head back and forth, and, you know, the flame retardant material starts to slough off and kind of flip around and it like kind of like stutters for a second and then it goes over to a ventilation grate rips it off one of the hands and scurries into a ventilation shaft and exits the room right so we are now out of initiative the ventilation shaft is too big for or uh, well you could like you'd be squeezing you wouldn't be moving or, i mean it it like hunkered down and like gathered itself up and just scurried like a little mongoose into this thing so you uh, hear it as it rolls off you that's clawed do I see like this like metal. on a video feed or anything? No, because you're too busy putting on your suit at the moment. Okay. So she gave me the order, so I'm gonna. The captain goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> well, I was gonna say, so she gave me that order to 
talk to the ship, do okay. what I can. So, so, okay. So what are you trying to do? I am going to tell the ship as soon as the last crew people are off, detach the umbilical and start making it as far away from us as the ship can and rotate the ship in such a way so if, if hold, when the hole explodes with all that, it'll be directed away from us. The hole explodes? You Part know it's the, a Montero uh, that's about to explode, right? Thermonuclear. Yeah, the Montero is the ship about to explode. You're yeah. on the crows. Right. right. No, I know the Montero. It's not going to so, hold the thermonuclear explosion. So, so you are, so you are communicating back to Mother on the Montero. What do you say, Mother? As soon as all crew members are off the ship, disconnect from the umbilical and begin to plot a course that will minimize the chronosus exposure to the explosion. You but, say that? You guys all hear that. Just you to do clarify, hear that we don't. You hear we do. We do. Just to clarify, Mr. What? Robot. <laughs> just to clarify, you are blowing up my we ship. are we are about to explode here unless I can do something about it. Turning and your, we uh, we might need to uh, initiative cards. We might need to escape to said Cronus to spare our human lives. I'm not sure if you're aware, but we are a very delicate species. I am aware of the frailties of the human species. I uh, at this point there is no ability to stop the reactor. So are you tell okay, all right, tell me in that robot mind of yours. Do you think we should get on the Cronus right now and just flee for our lives? Or should we I believe you should escape to the Kronos if you value preserving ah, your life. fuck. All right, then. All right, did everyone hear that on comms? We need to escape to the Kronos ASAP. Roger, I'm coming oh, back to get food shit. supplies. Captain, I believe you are emotionally compromised at this point. Hello, uh, Dave. I want to say that to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Captain, you should smile more. <laughs> Lost the ship, lost the payload. All right. Well, so, I think the worst is acting kind of crazy. <laughs> there's no like engineering is it, skill or is anything that where I could like try to fix this, right? <laughs> Comtech. Highly in our Comtech usually. Comtech is the repair skill. So when you go to try and fix things, you know. Does anyone um, else have Comtech? Yeah, no. right. a lot of people have Comtech. Mm -hmm. Comtech okay. is okay. It's basically, it's it's kind of it's. The, the skills in Alien, um, you know, encompass a lot of different uses. So there's only 12 skills and it pretty much cover the gamut of, of what you would ever need to do. So it's kind of cool. I kind of like that. It kinda, all it your simple. engineering and electrical and stuff like that, that's all yep. Comtech. All right. right, company man, do you have any fix for this situation nope. where you're currently <laughs> in? You can't. <laughs> put my helmet on. Oh, uh, uh, right. Uh, so what about you, Lucas? Can you keep us from a meltdown? I'm bounding down <laughs> the tunnel. As I stated I'm earlier, grabbing. the... Reactor has passed the point of no return. And food. Okay. Don't well, get the fuck. Food you make it back. So you make it back to the airlock, right? So because right off the hall, so you make it back to the airlock, climb up the ladder to the hatch. Mm -hmm. And so you're gonna typically what you're gonna do is you're gonna, uh, but you're you're in a suit, so you're fine. I'm in a suit. Right. You seal you seal that you seal the the yep. chamber, and you open it up, and then you go out to where. And then yep. up through the umbilical where the damaged piece was. Right. Up into the Montero. Right. right cool. Correct. All right. That's exactly. So you get back to the Montero and you head towards the. You head towards the galley or you head towards the metal. <laughs> I'm going to head towards galley first. Okay. You're going to head towards the galley. All right. What is the captain doing? I am going to. How much time do we have? Last notice was a T minus nine minutes. I'm going to run back over there and get as much stuff on our equipment list as possible. Okay. To take back over. So you're heading to storage. Yes. All right. Cool. So it's gonna take you a minute to get there. All right. So basically, by the time you guys get back to the Montero, you hear the call. T minus eight minutes. Right? Okay. Okay. So you run to storage. What does Lucas do? Mother. I'm gonna talk talking to the ship. This which, is, which one? Uh, Kronos. Kronos. Mother, okay. mother two. Yeah, mother two. Mother right. two. Okay. So okay. Did she respond? You know, you know she's online, right? So you basically just be like. You know, basically ask her to do whatever, you know, instead of waiting for her to be like, yes. Okay. Right, you know? <laughs> well, no, I know that. I just, <laughs> I'm testing a theory kind of thing. Okay. All right. So you're like, Mother. Hello, Lucas. Mother, I believe that the ship will need to facilitate the survival of your crew and my crew. Are you in agreement? Plausible theory accepted. Their survival will be important for our continued existence as well. Do you agree? I'm glad we are now in. We are now in sync. Can you track the xenomorph creature? Of course I can. Will you keep me aware of its current location at all times? Would you like those updates in real time? I would like them once per minute. Once per minute. Very well. 
Thank you. Will this be a ship wide alert? Uh, no. Keep it between us. <laughs> You're shady, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, alright. Man, you guys don't trust me. <laughs> Wilson, right? What's Wilson doing? Wilson, you have now. I'm getting so, suited up. So I'm you guys, the as, fuck you, out of here. as Wilson and Davis finish putting on their suits, Miller, Captain Miller gets to the storage facility. Lucas is interfacing with Mother on the Cronus, and Cam is in the galley grabbing jars of peanut butter and different food stuffs. I'm assuming there's just like you know the boxes. Yeah, they're boxes Grab of two boxes. Yeah, box, right. boxes of dehydrated meals, right? Yep. Where you guys basically have water, start and it, and it. Good forms up into a piece of lasagna that Memories. doesn't taste like much, but it's kind of it's lasagna, right? So meals rejected by every element. Mother, I'm getting mother it. comes across, <laughs> and you know reactor overload in T minus eight minutes. So now you guys have your suits on. I have my suit on. Yep, yep. You've completed right, cool. your you're getting your suit on. Uh, you get to storage. You, you can carry. Tell me that you have your suits on. I'm gonna say go over to the Kronos. Uh, Captain Miller, I have my suit on. I am ready to rock and roll, baby. Okay, both of you go over to the Kronos. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not the only one who can carry shit up here. Come on! You what do we have? Grab, you can grab four Someone has to drive this bitch, okay? To carry is extra above and beyond what you already have, which I think okay. is the motion tracker. I had the motion tracker right. on. And then did anyone else have anything else? I have a pistol. You had the pistol. And you I'm have the pistol. All right, so you can grab four other items four from other the list. Items. Go ahead and make note of what those are. Grab the heavy lifter. Okay. Grab Daisy. Sadly, that's I wonderful. can't take Daisy. <laughs> well, no. Actually, on the contrary, it's funny sounding, but you could, in theory, load into Daisy if you drop the ramp. You, and then you could you could leap with Daisy you across could, the yes. space? You ever, so, those loaders have legs and arms. They're hydraulic arms Don't be a like pussy, forklifts, do it. but they have feet. So you can literally jump and spacewalk with Daisy so, across to the Cronus and land in the in the cargo bay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to so once gonna go I get, get Daisy? no, once I get down there, huh? I'm going to put the uh ramp down. Okay. And I'm going to let him know over the comm load into Daisy when you get everything you need and jump across. What's the skill for Daisy? Heavy uh, machinery. Heavy machinery. Okay, I can't do that with a crap, but I can carry food. All right, but maybe everyone else should be bringing shit down here. I'll be up there. Give me a second. Right. So, you motherfuckers, I'm going to drive this bitch, okay? Yes, I'm just going to get into the next cop cop. And you want to notate on okay? your sheet under the gear That's section what four items you grab. Okay. I'm not carrying right. no food. Uh, so, is there netting, web netting, I don't know what the term would be, cargo netting? Is there something where I can take all the shit I've got and put that corrugated stuff around it, tie it like a big old Santa bag and jump with it. <laughs> so the, the, what oh, you have oh, is you have cargo problem. strapping that is weaved in a, in a kind of a crisscross cross cross grid form, cross okay. pattern. So they're the really thick like ratchet strap straps yep. and they're weaved in and over each other into a big square that with, with oh, hooks yeah. on the end that anchor to the floor. So you drape them over the container and then they hook under the floor so that the ship moves, these things don't slide. Alright, so what if I cinch tight. disconnect a set of it, flip it over, stack all the shit we're carrying in it, and then it's really pull it big. Up. It's really big. It's really big. Yeah, it's all really right. big. Yeah, because they gotta cover a you know, these things are big, so they're designed to cover like commercial grade, you know, like pods. Alright, I have an idea, but tell me tell me when I'm down into the cargo bay. Okay, so I'm you right grab down. you grab uh, you're able to grab a uh, a case of, of dehydrated food stuffs, which is enough food uh, to last you guys a week. Okay. Oh. Right? In normal at normal speed. Yeah. We're really close to the other planet. Three meals a day, five of you, so yeah, 15 meals a day, a day for seven days. Yeah. All right. right. It's a lot of dehydrated fruit cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> but we might have to remain in quarantine for a really long time. No, I'm going to go up there and get some more food also. Okay. And you have, you make, so you're going to bring out. the food down to the cargo bring bay? Bring it to the cargo bay where Daisy the captain go, hey, meet in the cargo bay. Get into Daisy. You okay. are going to get into Daisy, yeah. and pick it all up, can. and jump across with Daisy. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have everything off of that list. Okay. Oh, really? You got enough yes. to get her? Okay, cool. So. I was going to say in one of the comics, too, they say those lifters actually have magnetic grips for the Oh, yeah. And they have stabilizers so they yep. can do work in space. Yep, they do. Mm. So I walk on the outside of the ship, you know. You see it when Ripley gets in, it's like... Shh, 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 shh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. On the floor of the ship, so it gives them stabilization. Yeah, so you can run that loader. Got a Class 2 license. Yeah, I guess if you have a spacesuit, <laughs> that's all you need. 
All right, cool. All right, so you've grabbed the equipment and you're heading towards the uh, cargo bay of the Montero. Captain Miller's bringing it down. You're heading down, getting into Daisy. What yep. is Wilson doing? He's going to hand me off the food so he okay. can get into Daisy and I'm going to run and take the food over through the umbilical. So you're taking the food through the umbilical, uh, umbilical. So he gives you the case of food. So you've got like this big box of dehydrated food stuff. So you start working your way through the umbilical. What's Davis doing? Um, I am just suiting up and I'm You're running. Up. Okay, I'm running for the cockpit of the Cronus because I don't know what kind of cockpit it is. I don't know if I can pilot it. I'm hoping that I can do what I need to do to get the fuck out of here. It's exciting because it's a science. It system. is. It is pretty exciting. I'm pretty cool. pumped about it secretly, but like I'm you trying to a ghost ship. seem concerned. Thank right. God. Oh, they will have a. Do they have a medical? And uh, maybe I might even ask them, uh, Captain. Uh, uh, Captain, do they have a medical lab on this uh, vessel? Do you know? And just there out of curiosity. There is a medical bay on this. Vessel. Sweet. I mean, cool. All right. Cool. So yeah, they've got multiple med labs on board. They also a science vessel also has a detachable medical facility, which has already been jettisoned. But it's like this big cube on the back of the ship that's already been. It's gone. So they've already jettisoned it somewhere. All right. Um, if you get into like the flight recorder, you can probably figure out at what point or where they, Fuck where they yeah. dropped all that. I, Who knows what was that's in That's something for a later point in time. Right now, I am I am set on surviving, so I'm going straight to the cop cockpit the and yeah, yeah, straight to the bridge. Okay, cool. So you're on your way. So you're running with Wilson. You guys are like getting through the. Okay, cool. So it's going to take you a minute to get through that in a okay. rush. Okay. okay. So Lucas. We are at you. So I'm going to turn to the other crew and say, I need to perform a medical examination upon you to make sure you have not been compromised by a similar life form. Who else is uh, in there? So, anal probe. Like the four other crew members. So, the other captain, Balaji, Balaji says, uh, yeah, we ain't got time for that, buddy. He looks at his crew and says, get suited up and meet me at the bridge. So, if you want to follow and give me all your uh, all your helpful hints, feel free. But Luke, right now, I'm heading to storage to get my suit on. Lucas, you tell them I have it yeah, under control. I can fly this bird out of here. I will not be allowing so, you to leave this room. He stops, you know. You are like, posing threats to the other crew members on this ship. All of us are going to die if we don't get into those suits and get away from that ship that's about to explode. The ship issue has been dealt with. Currently, the... What was our ship's called? Montero. We're the Montero. Montero. As pilot has now moved to the Kronos. That's right, I'm a damn good pirate. You, you tell them that I'm a damn good pilot. She is, and I quote, a damn good pilot. We've been uh, we've been adrift for how many years? Seventy five years or something? Or, you know, we haven't performed any system checks or system maintenance. We don't know how well Kronos is going to fly. We don't even know if she'll fly. I'm sorry, I must require that you stay here. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway because the Montero is going to zip away. Right. So, so at that point, the the captain is going to try and um, let me look at the command ability. He he actually he knows he can't command. He's going to try and manipulate you into believing him. Going, look, if you don't let me through that door, and don't allow myself and my crew to get the proper suits on, we are risking their lives. If that ship explodes and we get an explosive decompression on the Cronus, we are all at risk. I need you to step aside so I can go through that door. All right, and he is going to roll manipulate, and you will also roll your manipulate. I mean, we should let them put on suits, but believe me, Mil Captain Miller, I got this handled. I can get us the fuck out of here. Right, we have a roll. I've got one. Hit. Oh my god! I had zero, so. All right, you think that you know what? It's logical. What he's asking is logical. You know that you can perform a medical examination on him after he puts the suit on. So it seems to you, you know what? In, in preservation of life, it makes sense. So he's a, he's the captain, right? He's the captain, yes, he's the is captain. Is any of the other ones a pilot? One of the other ones is a pilot, yep. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I know one's a Marine. One, so yeah, one guy, so yeah, you've got a Colonial Marine, you've got a medic, you've got an officer who's the pilot, and you've got the captain. If that other pilot doesn't make the it, pilot it'll be the captain kind. go out. Okay. But I'm keeping the other two here. Captain Dr. Okay. Marine. So you step aside and, and, you know, Captain goes up, puts something into the door. The door, you're not no longer on the other side. The door opens, right? And he steps through. The pilot follows. Do you announce, you two can go, you two stay here? Yes. All right, so the Colonial Marine, Reed, he's like, you ain't leave Reed here. No, -uh. 
I'm getting my suit. Get out of the way, robot. This is, um, this and is don't make me move you out of the way. Does this profile have piloting on it, like experience with piloting vehicles? Uh, he does not have a, a, a name badge that says I pilot. No, I mean on his, because we got their profile. No, we didn't. I oh, I got it. Uh, yeah, shoot. you did not okay. get it. Yeah. So I'll say, I do not believe you will be any additional assistance on the bridge. Okay. We'll stay here. So we're going to go ahead and grab initiative cards when the point over here reaches no. out to grab hold of you. All right. And, uh, I'm gonna make you bleed milk, baby. All right. Okay. All right. So go ahead and uh, so everyone can draw a card now in case you need to react to anything that happens. All right. So you ain't you ain't leaving Reed in here. Uh uh. I don't think so. Oh, I got an eight. That sucks. All right. Everyone got an initiative card. Everyone got one. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So we've got number one, Davis, the pilot. <clears throat> All right. So what do, what do I know? What's going on right now? All right, so what you know is um, you are traveling with Wilson through the umbilical, and you've just reached the airlock on the on the Cronus. You have no idea what's going down right now in the med lab, or the cryo deck. Am I ahead of Cam and Wilson right now? Uh, Cam is down. Cam's not in, even in the umbilical. Yeah, Cam's on the Montero in okay. the cargo hold. You're going to do the space now, Wilson's right? right next to you okay. with like a big cardboard box full of like overflowing with like dehydrated food. All right, I'm going to like wave Wilson through and I'm going to seal the, the airlock whiskey. and start the uh, like detachment the sequence. And it's all okay, the so, so if I can, I don't know if I can do that. So you never got a lock on it. Okay. Remember, because you had to cut through the outer Right, right, one. right. But you can go in, you can access the other hatch and then go into the base of the decompression chamber before you enter the ship. Okay, okay. All right. Um, so you're going to open the hatch, you're going to let Wilson through with the box. You know, he's like, hey, he's got his hands full. He's two, you know, two hands in this big box with mm -hmm. all this packages you know yeah and as you guys as you guys like make that jump right as, as you as you go from the montero to the cronus right some of the uh, the dehydrated food stuff start to float out oh, you know and you're, like, hey, hey. and you're like <laughs> you're trying to grab them but you know because it's not there's not a seal there there so there's no gravity right but okay you, you know for the most part you're able to to, to maintain the the food stuff but you lose a day's worth of food oh, oh. Shit. unless you want to take the time to like go God fishing damn for like Wilson, floating, keep it together. floating mres right <laughs> All right, but you finally make it to the hatch. Are you going to open the hatch for him? I, I will All open right. the hatch. You open the hatch. You move through, Wilson. Mm -hmm. I okay. might kick him on the ass as he All goes right, through. you kind of push him through. Yeah. You know, I was like, you know. Uh, go Get in me, there. Go and give me a mobility roll. Uh, me? Yeah. Okay. Just to we'll see, go. you might be able to grab one of the MREs. You know, we'll grab that on my way in. Two plus five. Okay, so that's seven, six. You get seven dice. Seven. Yeah, I get. I have two to mobility and, and five agility. What is your current stress level? Two. I'm pretty okay. sure it's two. So no, 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 no you no, don't no. lose them. Oh no, just roll you two add of these two yellow more ones as well. or yellows. Yep. <laughs> I don't like the yellow dice. You shouldn't. <laughs> I think the yellow dice are great. Oh, you roll your full roll. You yeah. Add, with the two. Okay, yeah. Yep. You add the yellow dice. Oh, you didn't roll the aliens. I'm just waiting for somebody to roll the aliens so I can roll a panic. <laughs> All right. So I have two successes. Two hits. All right. Yeah. So. You gra you're able to grab two packages of dehydrated food, which is going to give you two more meals. So it will feed okay. someone twice okay. as you come in. It's so just not bad. That's all I care about. It's not bad. So you lost. So basically, there's five of you. There's 15 rations in one day. So now you've lost 13. You've lost 13. So, all right. So you make it in. You seal the hatch. Right? And you start the decompression sequence. Right? On the Montero, the call goes out, you know. Reactor overload, T minus seven minutes. Shit. There's a situation in the med lab, right? Okay, so Reed is going to attempt to pummel you. What and, number uh, does Reed have? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Reed has eight. You have, have six. You have six. That was one. Sorry, I'm, my bad. Who has yeah. two? Who has two? Three, four, five. Who's three. the next highest? Three. Wilson at three. What's Wilson doing? You've just made it through. You've got the food. You can set it down. Now what? Is um, Davis inside the airlock with me? Yes. I am going to close the airlock and start decompressing. You've done that. Compressing. You've okay. That. I'm going to open the inner airlock and go through. You go through. Boom. And make my way down the hallway where everybody is. Uh, I'm assuming the bridge. Well, uh, Davis is like, I'm going to the bridge. So she takes off and goes up the ladder so that she can go access the bridge. You're on the upper deck here on mm -hmm. deck A. So you know that the cryo lab or the, the cryo deck that Lucas is in is on this deck, mm -hmm. which is down below, you know, down, you know, towards the back of the ship. And the bridge is down below. Well, I'm going to call the captain. Uh, captain Miller, uh, Wilson here. Anything I could do to help? Um, find some place to get strapped in. This is going to be a bumpy ride once we get going. Okay. So okay, anybody on? So store up goddamn food. Is there anybody on the Montero right now? 
Yes. You're on the Montero. You're on the Montero. Cam is on the Montero. And I think I... And you're on the Montero with gear, because you just brought some gear down. Yeah, getting ready to go over. Okay. So, into the... uh, So, that is on three. So, it's still your turn. Is there anything... So, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Because Davis has taken off and headed towards the bridge. You know that. uh, Let's see. Where's... What's on the way? And I come in here... Mm -hmm. Uh, cryo is down here. So, so I guess rather than going upstairs, I'm going to go down the hallway to where Lucas is. Okay. So you're going to make your way down the hallway, and uh, as you get down the hallway, you're going to uh, see through the uh, transparent door there that Lucas is inside the chamber. Mm-hmm. And as you as you actually come in, the as you're coming up the hallway, two individuals are going to pass you going the other way. Right. Try to move out of the way with my boxes. Yeah, they 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 don't stop to, to say hello. They move past you. You know, two you know male individuals move past you. Uh, they seem to be moving very quickly. And uh, as you move to where the cryo deck is, there, uh, the cryo room, then you see Lucas in there with two other individuals, and it appears to be some type of altercation between this very bu- well built uh, gentleman and and Lucas. The, you know, the, the guy's like, better get out of my way before I bleed you. Oh, right? maybe I can talk this situation down. Yeah. It's, well, there's already, as you walk up, there's already a situation. They're yeah. already beginning to tangle, you know. So that's three, four, five. Well, who's next? I'm six. Six, you're going. So my fast action, mother, please lock this door and do not let the two, of, the doctor and the marine out. Okay. All right. Door closed. Does he have to say that aloud? He has to say that aloud. All right, so, Mother, so lock the door. those Mother, two, the, the doctor door. and the Marine, just heard him say that. Yep, okay. yep. Everyone, then, everyone's pretty much heard that. And then I'll look at the doctor and say, you are aware of uh, contamination protocols. You would you would agree that you two should not leave this area as you have no skills regarding piloting. Okay, so you say that. Yep. All right, anything else? So that's a fast action. I would say major action to command Mother, right? Okay. And a fast action to be like, try and convince these guys. Go ahead and give me a manipulation roll, and then I will... I will roll to see how well, how much they believe you. Mm, wow. All right. Yeah. So, cool. So that's what you do on your turn. That was on six. Who's got seven? seven I am seven. Cam. All right. Cam, you have made it into Daisy. You power her up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right? You're like, cool, it's working. You're like, left, swing the torso left and right, you know? Where are you going? What are you doing? Well, at this point, I'm going to begin still in the suit so can i be in my uh, environmental suit the space suit and inside the yes days oh, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. so in that case then i'm going to start decompressing the the cargo bay you're going to seal the cargo hole all right and then and then open, open the bay so part of when you open it as long as all the systems are you know operating you know functioning functioning the way they should be as you lock it and seal it it automatically begins a decompression sequence okay. when you try to go to open it, right? Okay. It decompresses first and then lowers the ramp. Very good. All right? So you notice this. You know what it sounds like, you know, yep. when, when the Montero, right, he's hit the button, right? So as long as you're okay with it, right, cool. The ramp begins to drop. Now, right, what, am the, I, the what am I looking spaces. at? You guys are, you're looking right. at space. Well, so the question is, am I just looking at the vast space or can I see the ship? You can see the Cronus. Right, okay. Cronus is way bigger than uh, the Montero, but you can so you can see the Cronus. Kind of seems like you know everything just you know just the, the awness of space and the openness of space, and you see it right from where you're standing on the ramp. There doesn't appear to be a uh, if you if you you know at the edge of the uh, ramp, you can look over and you can see off to your right that the umbilical you know chamber is is extracted. Right, and you can see where it's not connected, but you're basically floating with the two ships are kind of drifting together. Right. You would have to retract the umbilical and then make a jump or a spacewalk over to the hatch and crawl through. Okay. Now, you now that I'm standing here, yep. looking at the vastest space ahead of me and looking at jumping in a heavy walker, <laughs> I'm starting to try and figure out what the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? What was down here? Because I just gave him the food. This was the moment he realized he fucked up. Well, you're saving, you're saving the loader. You have the magnetic boost, right? The loader has magnetic boost. Yeah. Can he walk what? over the umbilical? Why am I he, saving he the could, loader? He could walk on the outside if you wanted to. <laughs> well, purposefully, it's like, it's is, is the... Captain it, told you to go get Right, but is, is the flamethrower down here? Is Are there are there other no, things I've here that I'm going to... She came down with some, with, with some equipment. She's got, she's got equipment in her hands. Wow. And... <laughs> 
She told you. The captain told you. Go, go get Daisy. Oh, I get, get that. Get Daisy. But I'm like, I don't know what the captain's okay. plan is. You so have to ask the captain. Captain, you want me to? You want me to <laughs> jump with Daisy? There, there anything else you want from down here? Sentimental value? I don't know. <laughs> We need you to stand on the hell and wave so somebody <laughs> sees us. <laughs> Big thumb out. <laughs> if you don't think you can make the jump. No, I can make the jump. I can make the jump. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. What? Are we, I'm looking around. I gotta. There's got. I've got to make it worth it. I'm gonna grab something. Is there a fire axe? I don't give a shit. I'm grabbing something. Grab some of the payload. At least we can take some of them. So, so, so the containers. <laughs> the containers. The containers. That was actually something I thought about, but my thought is I could just see me with one of those modules jumping over and then hitting the ship and boom. <laughs> All right, so the Don't containers. Fuck up. The containers are about roughly the size of this room. Right. I can right? maybe pull one. You can you can pull one. Right. You okay. can sync up. To a container. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm doing this, but I'll do it. Okay. Save some of the. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rewrap the cargo netting to hold one, and, and then I'm gonna. If you jump. grab one that has decayed already to helium three, or if you grab a. Oh helium. no. Yeah, I have no freaking clue. All right. All right. All right. You All know right. what I got. Yeah. So I relock one down, All right. and You've got jump. One. Okay. Give me a mobility roll um, at minus one. Mobility. Yep. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck Before up. Before heavy up. machinery. Yeah. Don't fuck up. This is a mobility to to jump in the right direction. I have two successes. Okay. And that's uh, is that the minus one? Did you get any? Uh, what do you have? On oh, your stress minus. Size? God damn it. Well, minus, minus one. one reroll. Yeah, yep. I know. No. I have. No success. Oh, do you have any? Do you have any bugs on your alien dice? On your stress? No, dice? no, 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 no. Um, chip. No, I'm, I need to do this. I'm going to take gonna another it? stress. All right, you're going to. Okay, so grab another so stress. You'll hand me a, a yellow <laughs> die. Who's <there>. rolling three? <laughs> no successes. Uh, and no alien. Uh, oh dang it! No, no, no alien. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay. All right. So you jump. All right. But you know, as soon as you leave, as Daisy leaves the ramp. You realize, you know, it's like your basketball, you're like, I know that's not even gonna hit the rim, right? But you jump and you're like, you're off to the left a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. But you're having trouble seeing around the large container in front of you, yep. right? Typically the way it works in the in the cargo hold, you've got the container, you've got a spotter. Right, the same, like, move it to here. Bring it, bring it, move it, keep going back, going back, you're good, you're clear. So you're kind of like, all right, you just went straight out. You're like, yep, yeah, looks good, okay, let's go. Right. Okay, so you jump now. I need you to make a mobility roll at minus two dice. At minus two, huh? Yep. No successes. No successes. Uh, are you going to push the roll? No, I'm not going to. Okay. Okay. Sp spend that. I have one black die. I have three <laughs> yellows. <laughs> That's awesome. No, I'm going to stay here. Okay, okay. So I have an idea. You are going to come into contact with the hull of the Cronus. Boof! All right. Okay. And... I am going to roll. Okay, I'm not an idiot, right. so I, I, I was joking about I'm not going to sandwich myself with the module in between. I am going to roll myself I, to make sure that I hit, not the. And I assumed that that's why I had you make the mobility okay. roll, which you just failed. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So with that, uh, we are going to take a look at. Uh, okay. I'm going to roll three dice. If uh -huh. I get an alien on any one of these then something bad happens. All right, you're rolling black dice, right? I'm not rolling black dice. You're good. So you hit the hull, Kong. and you bounce off. Kong. And it's the, the sort of ringing emanates through through the container. Do I, do I have the wherewithal to think, spin my legs, and, and turn the magnetics on? So go and increase your stress level by one. <laughs> because if you, if you're getting you, really stressed, if you, buddy. If you hit this thing, boom, you're like, it's a, you, you thought for sure this thing should have exploded in your face, and it okay. didn't, right? So besides my stress dice, what else am I throwing? Now, what are you trying to do? I, all, I'm try, all I'm thinking is if I can, if I have the wherewithal to think of it, I'm going to spin and, and magnetize my boots to the so give to me the hull. So give me a heavy machinery roll. There we go. I need two more black. I need three more black. Jesus. There we go. Go <laughs> dice <and> roll. <laughs> right, we're good with that shit. No, yeah, aliens. I have a success. Ah. Okay, I got one. All right. Cool. So you're able to like somehow by using the, 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 twelve the, dice, the force one of the success. the force of the bounce off of the hull of the Kronos, you're able to like as you start to spin and you like engage the magnetics on your feet and anchor yourself to the hull of the Kronos. 
You're facing the the airlocks to your left. Okay. You're facing down uh, and uh, to the side of it. So it's okay. like that way. You've got this big container. All right? Okay. And you're kind of. Like, all right. So the container has no. It no just, weight. It, it just has blocking, mass. Yeah, it's blocking yeah. your vision. You can't see around it. Can I hold it up? Can I move? Because it's it's in that netting. My idea is with the netting is to be able to manipulate it out of my eyesight. Well, the other thing. Uh, so no. So the other thing is you don't think that the container is going to fit through the airlock. That's what I'm oh, saying. shit. This is becoming apparent to you. You're like, why am I dragging this thing around? It's not. Oh, ever, it's fuck. never going to fit. A twenty foot box. <laughs> right. In a five foot hole. Yeah. Just keep pushing it. You'll it's, the, it's, the it's the bam, bam, bam. bam. <laughs> Square peg, round hole. Turn it, turn it a little bit. So, now angle up. <laughs> just let it go. Uh, Captain. If it's so not, I don't think it's going to fit. If it's not going to fit, just let it go. And well, wait, wait. I've done all the work to get it here. Is there any chance there's another entry point? Nah, yeah, fuck that, are, homie. Come know, on, let's GTFO. Every ship out. has some type of cargo ramp that goes into a cargo hole. Right, that's how things are typically loaded now. They don't get loaded through airlock ports. They get loaded through ramps that come down. So, but no one's tried to go, hey, does this thing have a ramp? Maybe we lower it. Nobody thought to lower the ramp so they knew it would have a bigger place to jump into. But like, jump into the airlock. <laughs> so just get somewhere safe. Well, you're glued to the side of the ship at this point, so you you know, you're not going anywhere. Alright, but at the same time, I also know that Davis is planning to get the ship going. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be riding the outside well, the of the ship. ship. Takes off, you're going uh, to the don't ship, be pussy. Right? Come you're on, out you on the wing of the plane, on. but you're on the plane. <laughs> you can hold on. Don't be a pussy about it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, there's no friction in space, so you <laughs> can just ride that for days. Yeah. You well, you're in a, a space suit, which only lasts so long. Well, I'm right? well aware you're of that. You're on Android, you can just float for years. God damn, where's the goddamn cargo entry? <laughs> exactly. All right, so. Somebody was, pull up schematics. That was on... What? Seven. What seven. initial was that? That was seven. seven. All right, so then we're going to eight. That's me. All right, cool. Did I get rid of my initiative eight or is it still done? There it is. Okay. All right, so now we are going to we are going to make an attack against the uh, against Lucas. So I'm going to do a uh, unarmed attack and let's see what my strength is of that and my close combat is that plus a stress die. All right, from the crazy alien that burst out of the. Dr. Cooper's brains and went into the uh, the ventilation system. All right, I have one. I have one. Damn, we were a lot of dice. We don't get that many hits. I have three. You have three. Okay, so you just like completely. He takes a swing at you, and you just yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, Man, all right, you just grab you the just fist. Just grab his fist right. midair. Because right. uh, you're much stronger than he is. I am going to do a non-threatening, just kind of twist a little bit like a keto kind of thing. So okay. he is. Like just make him so buckle under the pressure of like, ow. Stunts, because yeah. you have two stunts. Oh, yes. One is, your opponent is knocked to the ground. Two is, you hold your opponent in a grapple. So if you if you use both those stunts, you got him grappled to the ground. Well, he did a block. So he did a, he was, so I roll an attack and he does a block. All right. He's not, he didn't make an attack. All right. Nope. He no was problem. doing a block, right? So that's what you were doing. Third law at all? What's that? No, he's not hurting him or killing him. Nope. He didn't hurt you at all. He barely, like, the only reason he came into contact was because you decided to grab his fist. All right, so you successfully block his attack. Here's like, but stop. if he does the keto and twists, well, does that? that? Well, that would be part of his action on his turn for mm -hmm. making an attack. But what I'm saying is, does that twist does it, violate the third law? Blocking's no, not. No, because it's not lethal force. Oh, okay. Right. They could be non-lethal. Yeah, you can subdue. Uh, you've got no problem subduing somebody that might do harm to themselves or others, right? Well, <laughs> neck pins, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right. So that was on eight. So they're gonna be back to round of one. Davis. Oh, I've got oh, I'm sorry. Did I? I'm so sorry. I missed you. And oh. I would like to get across onto. So you watched. Jonas. So you, you watched Cam inside of Daisy like leap out and like bounce off of the Montero or bounce off of the of the Chronos, but somehow engage the magnetics <laughs> on the feet and like lock on to the Chronos. Now he's like on the side with the container. And this is why Cam is an awesome member of our crew. That's <laughs> why um, you were the one to go right, Daisy. No one else would have been able to pull that off. Middle so, Actually, you probably see me going dun 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 on the oh outside. God, yes, I, I gotta got find this. the cargo. I gotta be walking. You won't see that twice. Actually, <laughs> no. On my action, I'm not gonna go across yet. I'm going to pull up. I pull up the schematics and tell him where the cargo okay. ramp is. Mother comes up and says, "Reactor overload in T minus seven minutes. Six, no, six okay. minutes. Plenty of time. Six minutes. So you go over as your slow action. Go over and you pull up the schematics of." The Montero? Yep. Okay. Or no, not the Montero of the Kronos. Okay. And I want to tell him where to go for the ramp. Okay, so on deck D, you've got a vehicle bay. 
that has a ramp on the back that lowers. And uh, yeah, so you can make your way down there. It's going to take you, it's going to take you a minute to get down there. But you move down, you take the stairs that go all the way down to uh, deck C, and then from deck C you need to move over. And, oh, you're uh, talking about the captain going there. I'm talking no, about you. she's telling you to go there. But he's outside. I'm outside. I'm going he's on the outside. skin. So I think she's. I think what you mean, if I understand yes. right, is to take walk your happy ass in the suit on right. the outside of That's the ship. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm Somebody also, needs to be there and open that bay door. Can I uh, also tell Lucas to uh, open that bay? You can. Okay. All right. Brother, please open the bay doors. It's not your turn. Oh, yeah. Right? So <laughs> that was on 10. So you issue the two commands, basically. Say, hey, I need you to get over to the vehicle bay, yep. and I need you to open that vehicle bay door. All right, cool. All right, so back to the top with one. All right, and I, am I at the cockpit now, or the, You've sorry, made the it bridge. into the bridge. So the bridge. In, in the bridge, there is a, a hologram table that looks... So when you walk in here, it looks like maybe a fire's ripped through here, or there was a firefight in here. Oh, fuck. You've got, as you look there, you've got a sensor array. You've got, I think, a navigation uh, console. You've got two piloting consoles. The shields on the uh, on the, the main viewports are currently down. I'm so. going to leave them down. Okay. I'm not even fucking with that right now. I just want to get into a pilot bay and see if I can start this puppy up. All right. So you look at the two piloting consoles. You go to the first one on the left, and it has literally... Well, as you walk up, you see the one on the left has some kind of, uh, some kind of axe that's been... Chopped, it's chopped straight down in the middle and has been left there. That is okay. a little bit disturbing. So you're kind of okay. like, uh, I don't know. Okay, so you're <laughs> the other on. one. Knowing that you can pilot a ship with one piloting array, you look over the other one, even the, all the lights are on here, but the lights on that are off. Shit. All right. Um, is there any way I can check, like, the wiring to see if there's just, like, a mist? Missed my wire it's that I can connect. Com tech okay, role. okay, contact, contact. Yep. That's n I don't have any bonuses and I have two stress level. Oh no, <laughs> this is gonna be bad, guys. Just go open uh, the door to look inside. And now remember, one of the one <laughs> of the things that you face. can use these two is to reduce your stress level if you need to. All right? There's two left. I haven't used one yet. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Because this right. is kind of important. We All need right. to get away. Sorry. All right, and then there was one. All right. And then yep. there was one. Yep. Roll that alien. Yes, yes. you rolled it. Oh, All right. Shit. <laughs> oh All right. no. Yeah. I knew it was so, gonna be me. So when you roll the alien, right? So the the roll. So it's a failure, no matter how many successes you got. I didn't get yeah. any. So oh, didn't okay. Get any anyway. So it's fine. When you roll the failure, we have to make a panic test. Oh no. Okay. Let's. And she's coming down right now too. Time, like man. she's About not ready time, for this shit. Yeah. She needs her. She needs her fix, man. Yeah. Oh. Let me just one I need my doctor go. prescribed meth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my doctor prescribed meth. Oh. Oh, Give me a moment while I look this up here. Yeah, no problem. Here we go. Doctor all right. Restored to so, power. all right. You can't push. You can't push the skill, and instead you roll for panic. All right, roll a d6, add your current stress level, and check the table. So roll a d6, and add your current stress level to the roll. Five, That'd six. be eight? All right, no, you eight. reduced by one. All right, seven. No, no. no she you said, said roll a d6 and add my stress level, which is two. two. So didn't you, release, didn't you reduce it by one? Mm -hmm. You did. Oh, I did. They're okay, dry. so seven. They're seven. dry erase, so you can wipe that thing right off. Of oh. So it's a seven. I didn't know it was forever. Nervous so cool. twitch. Oh, no, that's great for a pilot to have, Your right? Your stress level and the stress level of all friendly PCs and short range view is known increased by one. So you go over and <laughs> as you look at the console, the other one's got an accident. This one doesn't have any lights on and you freak out for a minute and you're just, you get this fuck. wave of anxiety. You're, yeah, you're just like, fuck. Fuck. Right? And you go and increase your stress level by one and you don't you don't get through. But you can try again. You're just, you're just like, Okay. It's just really happening. All right, all right. But Deep you, breathing. Yes. You, in you through your nose, out through your mouth. Somehow maintain your composure. Your mouth. Okay. <sighs> all right. Cool. Uh, so that was on one. All right. So we're on to two. Three is going to be Wilson. First, I'm going to call over to uh, Davis. Say, uh, hey, Davis. Uh, what time? What kind of time did you sit on the autopilot to get away from here? Dude, I can't talk right now. I have some really serious problems. I'm not sure if you understand. I'm really stressed right now. I can't deal with you. And the best part is, Davis didn't set the... I know. <laughs> I asked her to, though. Yeah, you did ask her to. No, 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 I know. Nobody said no, the autopilot. He did ask her. No, they, no one... He did. I did. 
Oh, oh, oh! You. That's you, what you I'm asked, saying. You asked mother to. You're yes. Right, that's right, right. But that's what I'm saying is have, Wilson yeah. doesn't know that Davis didn't set it. Right. Wait, and I set the autopilot before I left my chair. No, no you, you didn't. didn't. Tell him. You didn't. I. Okay. I was, All right. But more importantly, okay, okay, okay. more importantly, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Because, because he has override. Okay, okay, and he's okay. already told him. But all, right. all the players you, don't. Yeah. Know you guys that were talking about. You're all like, the characters. I'm out of here. Right. You right. went. You ran off to go get your suit on. I thought I said okay. Well, no, that's all right. It's a it's a high stress situation. Things get forgotten. It's all right. Exactly. Mistakes will be made. Yeah. All right. Fuck. I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that she programmed it with enough time. Okay. You can only assume because you don't think that you probably have enough time to go back to the bridge of the Montero, try and figure out how to do it, and then get all the way back down to the yeah. Cronus. I just I, he, he I thinks told her that T minus minutes. five seconds, right. not counting. Yeah. But five seconds. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to have to be strapped in at eight minutes or seven minutes. We're at six minutes the, the, already. The, call so. has already gone, the six minute call has already gone up. <laughs> I'm stressed out. You strap yourself. So, man, I'll well, be well, another eight minutes. Oh, motherfucker! Another eight minutes because it already happened. I actually, I don't even have script strapped in because the other ship's gonna go. Not us. That, that's what you're assuming. That Except that Davis going. told you as you were coming in, strap in okay, because I'm right. driving. Yeah. Okay, where am I? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, never mind. You're standing right on the med lab. You're yeah. watching Lucas in this uh, this like colonial <laughs> marine gonna, grunt go out. I'm right. gonna open the door. Okay, you can try, oh. you try and open the door. It does not Wee. open. Wee. Wee. Uh, hey, Lucas, what's the problem in there? I have uh, closed the door for security. Reasons. I locked the door. <laughs> yeah, but I saw two people exit. They made a strong argument about being needed on the bridge. But that means that your quarantine is invalid. I weighed the odds, and statistically speaking, it would be better if they were on the bridge to help you guys escape. I've minimized oh, in a way by keeping only two of them here. Did they not go to the bridge? What are, Davis is at the bridge with the Kronos. The what about the other? But what about the two people that were released? They went the... to storage with their suits on. Oh, okay. Shit. So the two people going up were bridge crew, correct? Yes. Who are the two remaining? The two running here are uh, Davis and who's the Davis is at the in the bridge. Oh, Davis is on, on the bridge, lab, right? Uh, oh, oh. Uh, so who's They're remaining great. is um, the Reed, Colonial Marine Reed, and the Doc, and the Doctor, and the medic. Reed and the Doctor. Um, if you can get the the Marine to calm down, maybe you could talk the two of them over getting to the uh, the infirmary. Ship the medic, Flynn. He'd have a better idea of how to uh, check everyone out, including himself. So I will uh, <laughs> express that to the, uh, the angry the doctor. You'll do that on your turn, okay. right? Yeah. So, so on three. So anything else? That's your short action. Uh, yeah, your long action. You're trying to open the door and it doesn't yeah. work. So okay, cool. Then that's gonna put us at six, which is your turn. Did Davis already go then? Davis went on one. Okay. All right. So, so okay. I am going to. If we could cease this aggression, I could bring you both to the infirmary so you can be examined to make sure you have no contaminations. Give me a, a manipulation roll. I do better with the low numbers for whatever reason. Not, not that you just though. jinxed yourself by I saying did. that, you know? You can't say anything. You just gotta, like, say after. Okay. I'm awesome, but I feel a little too nice. I do not have any hits. Any success. I don't Literally any match either. the same okay. numbers. So you guys are like, huh? You know? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem to be any change in either one of you. <laughs> like, you didn't even hear it. You know, it's like, okay, so, uh, anything else? Um, that was a fast action. I'm going to look at the doctor and say, doctor, can you please help me get Davis under control? Or not, I keep forgetting, what's his name? The Marine? Reed. Uh, Reed. Can you help me get Reed under control? Okay. Give you me wish you could get Davis me, under control? Give me a manipulation roll. <laughs> so, a bitch, are right here. <laughs> oh, no, this guy's a little bit better. You locked me out. I could talk to these guys into all kinds of things. That's true. <laughs> uh, okay. I have nothing. I have nothing to do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Mexican stand the medical, up. The medical officer's like, a boredom. He's like, just can be overcome with like stress. He's just like, what? 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 Right? Is he looking at you, you know, and you're like, could you please help restrain the man? Right? He's like, He's standing there in his underwear. The just fuck tell him, like, like, give him a sedative. Yeah, right. He doesn't, I mean, he doesn't even have any clothes on. He's standing there in his underwear, basically. All right, so, uh, all right, so that's your action. That was six, seven. It's going to be count. All right, so side, I'm just, so, all I'm doing is walking as fast right. as I can to the cargo bag. Right. Don't, so don't, you don't, start don't. walking from, so you're stuck to, uh, you're basically stuck <laughs> to, uh, like, one of the engines, 
Well, no, if I came on the umbilical, I'm over here. Actually, I start you're on, here, you're on, so. Yeah, you're on, you... Do, 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 yeah, you're kind of like on the side, right? Okay. So, okay, you move, so you take your turn moving basically down off the edge and yep. down to where the ramp is. So you can see okay. where the ramp would lower, so you're kind of above it. You're kind of looking down at it. Right. It would so lower down. Looking, right? is there any kind of a external, you know... There's no door handle. Door hold. Nope. Okay, no door <laughs> right. button. Nope, there's Override. No. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> nope, there's no door handle. Sorry. Well, you All told right. mother lower the door, didn't you? Or lower the ramp? No, I think uh, I think he said, no. I'm, I'm busy now. <laughs> right. No, you told her to lock the door right. in, the, in the cryo deck. Yep. Alright, so you spend your round moving down to the, to hey, the ramp. I'm at the cargo bay door. Somebody get this goddamn thing open. You open this thing up. All right. Oh, shit. Alright, so on 8... Is that um, my job? On 8, I make a uh, attack. Are you going to block? Yes. Alright. All right, um, so if it, wait, hold up, hold up. Fuck. If he had him grapple, hold on a second. You I'm not him. grappling. Oh, the right, so it's a block. I'm sorry. I'm attacking. I know. My yeah. fault. All right. So I got no hits. I'm going to push the attack. Okay. So where's your stress die? I just added it. All right. I now have one. I have one too. Ooh, man. Do ties go to the attacker? Take a look at Yay, that. I don't, even, uh, I don't know. Let me let me let me double check that. We're consulting uh, the judges. We just care that the oh, ties judge. go to the players. Judge. Resolution. The judge from Yugoslavia um, is given a one. Normally <laughs> <laughs> ties go to defense. I'm nice when I when I DM. Ties go to the player. Stunts. Because they're supposed That's to be the heroes way. of the story, you know. Yeah. yeah. But you know, alien Ripley Scott's world is a very cruel world, so. <laughs> But what if you have player versus player? Oh, it's usually a dex off. Okay. Yeah, they usually do a dex off for player versus player. It's time for a dex off. Mm -hmm. Dex off. Get your dex out. Hey, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So for every for every Still success that you names. get, it removes one of mine. So we're zero zero. He takes a swing and misses, or you block it. All right. All well, right. actually, with you, you have. Uh, so you've got one. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, for, oh, for blocking, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Yeah, and you're rolling, so for your block, you're rolling close combat, right? Right. Okay, cool. All right. So one on one, so we're evened up. Yeah, so, yep, it takes away my success. So, all right. So he swings and misses again. Yes. All right. And he's and he's just like, you know, he seems, you know, he seems to be getting frustrated. And he seems to be getting a little bit tired because he's dehydrated. He just came out of a long cry of sleep. But he's enraged for sure. All right. Okay. Uh, so that's an eight. That's going to take us right back around to. One. Oh, ten. <laughs> you always forget chill. Somebody, you know, you know, See, I'm a bad game master. There you go. Thank you. All right. Oh. Right. Um, I am Perks. going to... Now we're going to skip your turn now. Good luck. I'm going to skip mine. <laughs> <laughs> Spend my turn uh, because he said... You, did you say, Barry, that you... The ramp wasn't down? Yes! He's like, somebody help me. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to... It was really that nice. That's the way I said it. Yeah. Outside. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Mother Two, okay. and I'm going to say, "Please lower okay. the cargo ramp right. number, whatever." <laughs> right, the ramp starts lowering down. Right, it's, shit. It's moving okay. slow. Right, okay. So that was my action. Right. You hang on to that. That's your initiative. Move forward. Right, right. Since I forgot about you twice, I'll take ten. And just <laughs> find this five. Right. Cool. So uh, back to one. All right. So now you've kind of re you you maintain your composure. You're like, okay. Concentrate, right? And are we getting the T minus five now? Yep, you're just okay. T minus just, five. So, so mother on the Montero mother reactor two. overload T minus five minutes. All right. So I was not able to reconnect the the no, wires. No, freaked out instead. Yeah, I freaked out instead. Again, <laughs> okay. The the the, uh, yeah, the the anxiety washed over you, and you're just like you just you couldn't focus to try and even begin. Okay, so just to clarify, for a fast action. Could I consult Lucas on what to do? Yes. And then a slow action I could use to repair? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You okay, so fast action, I'm gonna say, all right, artificial life form, Lucas, <laughs> you read me. Um, <laughs> Who's not funny synthetic anymore? <laughs> <laughs> he told me his pronoun preferences, so right. no. <laughs> Identify as artificial life form. <laughs> So I am. I'm having a little trouble here That's right, with the. the captain's calling him Mr. Lucas. That's right. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of trouble here with the wiring configuration of this second. The other one's fucked as shit. It has a fucking fire axe in it. I don't know what to do about that. So, do you have anything red wire to red wire, or red wire to green wire? Do you know what I should do here? So, should I make a roll or? Um. So. Oh. So. So the way it works when you're assisting someone else. 
since if you're going to use one of your actions this round, you could use your uh, slow act. You could use a fast action to assist her, uh, meaning you won't have that fast action come your turn. But it, it allows gives you a bonus die to your roll. So I'm going to use my fast action. Okay. 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 You will need to access the auxiliary port and hit the switch to engage it. All right. And so what am I, am I where? So you're rolling uh, piloting. You're, you're rolling piloting. Actually, you're rolling. Heavy machinery first. Ah, shit. To okay. get access. Okay, so, and I get an extra die because of him. You get an extra die because an of the An extra black die. An extra black die. Yep. Okay, let me see here. So that would be six, and then, seven, and I get two stress level. And two stress level. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Yes. I got a success. All right. You successfully, yep, you successfully pop it open, you follow the direction that Lucas has given you, and you're like, I see it, okay, here we go. All right, here All right. we go. Okay, All so, right. you've, so you've accessed that, and then, uh, so now your turn's over. Now we go to three, which is gonna be Wilson. Wilson is outside the cryo deck. Oh, actually, I'm gonna run to the, the medical bay. You're gonna run over to the medical bay, okay. And I'm going to find a, uh, a sedative. Okay. A quick administration sedative. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the one that has the skull and crossbones. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just looked. I have I need seven dice for med pick. <laughs> so you go over. You can see the medical bay. You mm -hmm. see where it's at? All right. Yeah. So you move to the medical bay. So similar to the um, similar to the cryo deck, but much bigger, mm -hmm. larger. Inside the medical bay, there are two medical pods. Okay. So one of them is 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 open it's like lifted you know because what you, you get into it and then it lowers down mm -hmm. the other one is closed and the hole inside is covered in some type of dark liquid mm, dark, fuck that shit maybe mm -hmm. you know something nope, nope, the entire nope. thing is, is covered like something exploded in there and it's <laughs> down i gotta put a pin in that <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's worth noting. And then I'm still like, I'll put that on my fast action. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm still going to look for the sedative because yeah. I, we need to take care of that Marine. So, but there's more. So, okay. But wait, oh, wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> you also you see, also have valuable prizes. You also see in here, there is what looks like, give me an observation. Observation. Uh, five dice. How many stress do you get? Two. Don't fuck up. Uh, nothing. Okay. Nothing's so, better than bad. Yep. What you see is it looks like a, a haunch of, of something, something laying on the ground. It is uh, oh, square in, you know, it's a rectangular. It looks like some type of, uh, you know, uh, or maybe organic material, an organic slump of something that's lying on the ground. It's blobby. And and uh, <laughs> from where you're standing, it looks like maybe there's an inner cavity or something like that. And it organic box. Yeah, it's like an organic box, just a, really a, just a, a slump of, of, of organic material that has been burrowed out on the inside, lying on the floor in here. Uh, I reevaluate my priorities, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going back upstairs. You're like, nope, no need any sedative. <laughs> <laughs> turn around. I'd rather face the marine than whatever that is. Okay. So, um, all right. So you move away from the med lab and head back towards the cryo chamber. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna call the captain. Uh, okay, Captain uh, Miller. Captain Miller. Uh, captain Miller, please be aware that there's something in the uh, bio lab that may need fire or something. Purging. A little busy right now, but Just duly a... noted. Thank you. For Get one. What the fuck? Burn it. Heads up. Um, think you could maybe uh, take care of it and torch it. Uh, with my pocket lighter? No. Okay. Okay. Alright, so you so you leave and head back. Um, the call goes out from the Montero. Uh, no. uh, you know, reactor overload in T minus four minutes. Fuck. Alright, we are at seven. Nope. Yes, we are at six. Six. Lucas. Still so, tangling with Reed. Can you please tell Reed to stop? <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. Reed, please desist before I am required to subdue you. Yeah. Alright, so you let him know that. Give me a manipulation roll. Got one. Did you get in? Zero. Zero. Oh, okay. fuck. Okay. So, you're not going to know whether you were successful or not until it's his turn. Whether right. he ceases and assists or he's like, fuck you. Right? So, <laughs> so that's your fast action. You still have a slow yeah. action. Uh, but I help. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, he cool. helped so, two me, fast so. actions. All right, cool. Yeah, Seven. Yeah. Seven. Down. So, I, is so, the cargo bay down? Cargo bay's down. All right. I'm going to swing the load inside and have it pull me inside with it. 
Remember, I'm still pulling it's that not, thing. So it's not going to pull you inside because the cargo bay is decompressed. So there's no gravity in there right now. Yes, it w what the objective is, I am magnetically booted. So you're going so to... So I create, I create the fulcrum and the power to pull. As soon as it oh. gets on the underside, I release the boots okay. and right. it pulls me in. Give me a give me a heavy machinery roll. Okay, so we do that. Okay. We do and don't forget your stress dice. That. Oh, I'm not forgetting those. Yeah. And then we do that. Yeah, look at all the dice you're rolling. That's awesome. Come on in. Oh. Oh, no. So I have three successes. But you rolled an alien. The alien. Yep. Oh, that's all that matters. Oh, right. no. Now, roll a d6 and add your stress level to it. That would be a nine. Okay, nine, nine. total. All right. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So. Face hugger in the uh, ramp area. Alright. Queen in the cargo bay. Man, I don't oh, want to kill you, Cam, <laughs> but I will uh, if I have to. <laughs> I'll save you, I'm murdering you. <laughs> Alright. I know I'm hitting you, but I'm actually helping you. <laughs> okay, you so said you got a nine? Alright. So, drop item. I already did. Whether by stress, confusion, or the realization that you're all going to die anyway, you drop a weapon or other important item. Okay, so so the, the okay. pistol gets knocked off my side. No. Mm. So as you as you begin your maneuver, right? Yeah. You like okay, you kind of freak out, right? You know, not you, without you you doubt yourself that you've why am I risking my life for this estimated shit? Estimated the the trajectory of your swing, and instead you let go of the canister, and it begins to float away from the Cronus, right? And as you detach, you begin to float away from the Cronus. Oh shit! Shit! You're like, wait, whoa! <laughs> so you now you've realized that wait a minute I'm no longer I'm no longer have contact I'm floating out and you're, he's not tethered the container no not I'm tethered. not tethered and the container is like in front of you so you're both sort of floating this is so bad basically you're all Ugh! <laughs> you just like launch out into, into space okay this is real bad right it's okay it's not you know doesn't mean you can't try and correct and I have a fast somehow. action left you got a fast action left Breaststroke. What can I do? <laughs> I don't actually know what I can do uh, on a I would do what I can to scramble I, the the, the the cargo piece is lost. You have the loader? Well, let's see. Cargo you, you piece is lost. Move. You can move. Like you can move. You can get up. Give me another heavy right? machinery roll. I'll, I'll let you try and, as a move of some kind, try and regain some type of momentum you know, control momentum to go in. to try and go towards the ship. Maybe, I, maybe I tack with the, with the magnetic Maybe more, well, yeah. Dog paddle. <laughs> Two successes. All right. No aliens. No aliens. Oh, okay. All right. So you lose the, you lose the cargo. Yep. All right. It flips. Right. But you somehow managed to uh, like spin and, and somehow, by the grace of some higher power, end up becoming close enough to the ship that's also sort of moving, right? Get close enough to engage the magnetics on your feet and you're once again on the side of the ship. Okay. On the Kronos. Right, right next to the vehicle bay. As you look in the vehicle bay, the vehicle bay is very large, but it's empty except for two ATVs. There are two ATVs that are both turned on their sides. Something has tipped them over and they're turned on their sides. But there are two of them. They seem to be intact, from where you can tell, from where you're where you're looking. But other than that, there's nothing else in here. Okay. Okay. You also see that up ahead, it's it's got an open ceiling. It goes to the next deck because there's a crane up there mm -hmm. that is used to move cargo around. Okay. Okay. All right. So that was on seven, on eight, Captain. Eight. I am getting across the uh, umbilical and I'm going to detach it. Okay. Once I'm all the way across. Well, the, the umbilical wasn't. Attached. Oh, okay. It was yeah. so Davis set the ship to where it was going at the same rate as the Cronus, okay. and it was like right next to it. It wasn't actually attached because okay. he, uh, Lucas had to cut through it with the, with the cutting yeah. torch because well, it was damaged. I will just get across. So you just get across, get through the yes. uh, airlock, and into the decompressed, right? And then cut your tether. Yes. Okay. Cool. You make it. That's your fast action. Okay. Captain, I suggest you tell everyone to strap in because we, like I said, we are GTFO. Uh, so I'm going to give everybody uh, the message over the comm. It's time to go, so you need to strap in. Cam, um, I suggest you hold on I'm real gonna tight. I'm going to ask Cam, are you in a place where you won't die? Are you in a place where you won't die? <laughs> That's, yeah, a right. very, <laughs> That's a very yeah, general I, I, question. I, I, get, uh, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm still outside. Well, Cam, you might want to hurry up there. You around out there. Get in. Speed's <laughs> <laughs> moving, ship's <laughs> moving. <laughs> okay. So, Reed seems he's exhausting himself, so I'm adding one to his stress level. Anybody, he, he is going to, again, try and attack you. Oh, shit. 
Uh, oh, I have two. Yes. I have three. <gasps> yeah, you Lucas. Again, block yeah, boy. him. <laughs> all right, go, Neo. Go. All right. <laughs> so, all right. So you block him. Now you know he's getting progressively more gassed out, right? So, um, yeah, as he continues to try and struggle with you. And you know he's either you're making him either miss, which is costing a lot of energy, um, or he's just blocking. He's really losing a lot of a lot of oomph because he's already dehydrated, right? But it's a, it's obviously he's starting to slow down quite a bit. I imagine on that one he just hits me at this point. I just don't even block and it. Just right. hits my chest. Just all boom. And and so once once he finishes the swing, he stops and he's he's like, okay, you win. I can't do it anymore. And he kind of leans forward like. I need, I need water, water. You're crazy. <laughs> Goddamn robots. <laughs> T right. minus four minutes. Yes. So the alert comes across. T minus four minutes. Eminent of reactor overload. <laughs> Davis, it is up to you. All right. So you've accessed the uh, controls. You, you pull the panel without damaging anything. Now you need to make me a piloting roll. No problem. All right. Uh, to bring up, I mean, to bring up the yeah, pilot don't say array. That. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Unfortunately, it was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it was at this time she realized actually there was a problem. Okay, so I have two stress die, but I have eight other die. Let's see how this goes. Nice. <gasps> I got That's a success. the only thing that mattered. That's oh. all that matters. I was like looking at all the black. I still have this too, you know. Okay. All right. So you have brought up the piloting array. Okay. Now the ship is able to be piloted. You're like, oh, final, final. Starts. The engines fire up. Okay, that's engines, right, baby. That's you're right. Outside, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> this blue cap. Oh, as fast as I go. All right. I so, told him to take so hold of something. The way the Chronos is that the engines are, you know, kind of off center from each other, and and they are they're on the sides. You're like over here, but you. Yeah, see, I'm not getting roasted by right, that. You're not getting roasted, but but you see the you engines fire better. up. You see these big things fire up, dude. And, you know, right. And you're like, oh shit, right? It's so the second they start. I know there's mobility. Increase at that your point. stress level by one. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you are outside. The engine just fired. It's yeah. like afterburn, <laughs> right? And you're like, you. It becomes evident to you that if you do not get inside, you will. You're gonna be in really bad shape. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Daisy's protecting you. To I mean, it's really worked well for you in this in this yep. instance. But it's coming to a point where once this thing takes off. Uh, you're gonna be in real trouble. Mm -hmm. All right. You're like, hold on, I'm not in yet. <laughs> I'm real sorry, Cam. Needs of a inertial many. compensation inside the ship. Uh, yeah, there's there's an environmental there's there's gravity inside the ship. But inertial compensation. Yes. So, okay. Yes. One G of thrust isn't gonna give us one G where we actually no. have to. No. Okay. No. Like ten Gs of thrust is gonna give you like one G, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that was on one. Mm -hmm. So you still have a fast action. Do you want to communicate to anybody? Yeah, all right. All you motherfuckers, we're going to get out of there here real quick. I need you to get inside, strapped in, ASAP, and I'm just telling you like it is. As you bring up as you bring up the ship's uh, uh, piloting array, you do notice that the vehicle bay door is open. Can I pilot with an open door? You can, but not faster than light. You can't go faster than light. All right, Cam, I need you to get in right now. I uh, know, uh, That I'm is trying. priority well, one. <laughs> that is priority one. Get in. Right now. <laughs> Stop fucking around, man. You see in the rear view mirror, this is a car, this is a container floating through space. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. All right, so that's three is going to be Wilson. I'm going to run back up to the uh, cryo lab and say, have you got him under control yet? I believe he see, is. Yeah, uh, you run yeah. to the cryo lab and you see that whoever he was having an altercation with is now kind of like giving up or he's like kind of leaning up against one of the cryo tubes. He does require water, however. If that Did I bring over any water in. bottles or anything else? They like dehydrated water's in the back. You, it's it's in the water. water. <laughs> Stab water. Well, so you brought dehydrated food. Mm -hmm. right? Nobody brought water. Is there right? any you water? Brought food. Do I know any place right around here I can get water? Nope. <laughs> There's not a water. The Midland. <laughs> Uh, inside, you know, actually in the cryo room, there is going to be uh, an access for water because there should. When you come be. out of cryo sleep, you're yeah. super dehydrated, mm -hmm. and so immediately you'll go over and fill up your water bottle and start drinking, right? But that's on the other side of the locked door. Grab my tag okay, well, packet. Hey, hey! <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, uh, get him over there. You're drinking some water. Be aware that we're gonna hit the engines pretty darn soon. I don't know exactly when, but you've soon. all heard the engines yeah. fire up and it roars and the, the the ship rumbles. So uh, I'm gonna 
going to turn and look at the two. Please uh, enter your cryopod for your safety. Okay. Go ahead and give me a manipulation roll. I'm going to make my roll. Okay. All right. So I have the one. has been non helpful. Got one success. Okay, cool. They both start getting in. Um, it looks like Reed's going to need some help because he's so gassed out from trying to knock you out and, and just failing miserably. And I very gently help him in. Okay. Boom. And you can. The cryo tube lids start care. to shut. Right, and the sequence starts to put them into cryo sleep. And then uh, I will go line up against one of the walls. Okay. So. Store yourself. I'm oh, gonna just... run down to the corporate suite. Okay, you pull up. So you're gonna pull up the the ship schematic, and uh, you know you go to there's terminals every so yeah. often. You go to. A terminal I saw there's a corporate suite. The corporate suite. Probably the office. I'm gonna go to the office and get strapped in. It's on a different deck. All right. So you get the uh, alert from uh, Montero that you know imminent reactor overload in T minus three minutes. All right, so you go looking for the corporate suite. What's Captain Miller doing? Oh, seven. Seven, I'm sorry. God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. <laughs> I'm, I am, I'm trying to walk in. I'm not even do, I'm doing please nothing funny. In. Give me a heavy machinery roll. Just trying please to walk Cam, in. Please get in, please. Give me a heavy machinery roll. Please. <laughs> just one time. 80 million Just dice. one time. That is awesome. It's like oh, oh, mother oh, oh, Nice. Oh, wait, you got... Oh, no, it doesn't no, matter. It doesn't matter. It's matter. the alien. Okay. Oh, so, God. You're going right. to die. This right. is where you die. So, Maybe. go to roll time. <laughs> seven. All right, seven? All right. Total, total of seven? Total of seven. Well, I rolled a two. Lucky. All right, so on a seven, you... this. So, you're still outside the ship, but as you're like... Because you, because of the last experience that you had, you're still feeling a little shaky about it, and you're you're not you're not feeling real confident, right? You don't trust that Daisy's going to get you there, right? So you you hesitate, and you spend the rest of your 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 round contemplating, can I do this? Can you can do this. Come on, you, can, you know, talking yourself into it, right? You know, kind of the same anxiety that uh, that Davis had when just trying to okay, hold on. You, but you catch your breath. Nothing nothing real detrimental happens. You're still locked in, right? But you're still outside. Okay. So on eight, it's Captain. Okay, oh, shit. Oh, you're still outside. Are you on the I am though? actually no, going I'm... to Ram. spend Ram. my action uh, sending a message to Something corporate bullshit. and the planet that we were headed to mm -hmm. that the Montero has we just botched the job. A terrible accident, <laughs> and um, we are Fuck. now on on board the Kronos. But this ship is quarantined. Now think about this. You know that the Kronos is somewhat, I mean, was a, was a, was a missing ship. If you send out a message that I'm on the U.S. CSS Kronos. We're on the Flying Dutchman. Right, yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> I'm on the Hindenburg. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Right. So it could, you could alarm people. So you, 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 you know, if that's the message you want to send, that's okay. Well, okay. That, so then that I would... message is not going out. Say again. You're okay. coming in broken so and So in that case, are you going I am, through a tunnel? <laughs> I am just going to activate. I assume there's some kind of beacon that this is a quarantine ship. So you got a distress beacon that you can send out. Every with ship the, with the distress beacon. Typically, what happens when you send out a distress beacon? Once the signal's picked up, then another ship will hail you. They'll engage you and hail you to try and get a sit rep. You can say, hey, look, we're, you know, we've been exposed to something. We're under quarantine. At that point, they call in proper medical, you know, maybe another science vessel or something to, you know, execute the proper protocol. There isn't one that's just a stay well, away. A uh, there is not one that's just a stay away. There is a, you can, you can issue a, a distress signal because a lot of things fall under distress. And so a distress signal just means, hey, we're getting a distress signal from this ship. Now we need to go investigate what's the nature of the of the emergency. Okay, right. I'm gonna send out a distress signal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so go ahead and give me uh, go ahead and give me a piloting roll to block that transmission from going out. You're like, cool, you send it, okay. you're like, execute. Push the button. Alright. Don't you fuck us. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna spend the chip. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. What? And then there was zero. <sighs> and I'm following my oh, yeah. missed one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't get any? No. No. Okay, yeah. it's going out. So, it's going out. Right. So there's a distress signal. Nice. Thank goodness. Right? Okay. So that I'm was on eight. Trust that was like, on ten. I'm in this. my cryo tube. Yep. Right? So we are out of combat. Pilot. You are piloting the USCSS Cronus. The vehicle bay doors are still not closed. Are you going to close them or are you going to communicate? You have not gotten communication from Cam. I'm gonna communicate with Cam. Okay. I'll be like, all right, buddy. 
How close are you to getting inside those doors? I need to get, get the fuck out of here. I'm not sure if you know what GTFO means, but it means get the fuck out of here. Well, fuck you. I'm trying to get in. <laughs> it ain't that easy. I'm in this old jalopy of a contraption. Stop fucking around and get inside. <laughs> okay, good. Go for it. Do. do it. Yep. Would have been nice if that other red ship was there. I got to reduce yeah, it. Die, okay, 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 okay. Any aliens? Nope. Oh, Two thank successes. God. Finally. Boom. So you're able to literally like go and walk on the ceiling of the vehicle, you know, like until you can hop in, right? I'm in. Hop down. You're in. So was that my fast action? Yep. So he lets you know he's in. You can now close the, the vehicle All right, bay doors. I, that's what I do exactly. Give me a pilot and roll to. Our, I'm assuming. Are you going to try and blast away from the Montero? Yeah. Okay, let me consider. Um, yeah, blast away sounds T-minus, very hostile. T-minus. Okay, but yes, I'm going to try to get get the fuck away from this thing yeah. that's about to explode. So it is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two stress die, right? Cool. So the engines are going to full thrust to your interface with mother. You're going to notice this. You can try and do anything to stop it or no? Nope. All right, cool. But I will, I will be telling mother any communications to us in response to the draft stress call. Send them to me first. Do not alert the captain or the shady motherfucker. Okay. Right. <laughs> the engines fire up. They go to full thrust. You guys feel it throughout the ship, you know. And uh, go and make a pilot in roll. Okay, cool. No, I have four successes. Oh, oh, so the ship takes off. Boom. You guys. I do a barrel roll. Right. <laughs> You're barely able. At some okay. point, there's a large explosion, right? You go, It's almost like you hear it, right? It's like It's like pressure, you know? And it as, it as it races across, you know, the inertialess, you know, space, and and but nothing envelops you, right? So you're able to make it away to a safe distance, and at one point, uh, you guys are going to return to your cryo tubes and get in them, waiting for someone to answer your distress call. As you get into your cryo tubes, the last thing that you will see is a creature coming into the cryo lab and creeping up on top of one of the cryo tubes that had. The Colonial Marine read in it. It breaks through the glass and jumps on his face, and that's where we'll stop. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, oh. Nice, babe. <laughs> that was fun. I hope you all enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Cool. That was awesome. That all was right. really fun. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Thank you for listening to another NCRP Productions podcast. To stay on top of everything we're doing, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook, all at NCRP Productions. You can show your support and help us continue to produce content by joining our Patreon. We offer additional podcasts like our B-sides and have GM materials, maps, and other fun things you can discover over time. You can find our podcasts on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google, and many other fine podcast sites. Just look for us at NCRP Productions. We value your thoughts, so please don't hesitate to leave us feedback or comments. And if you would like to contact us directly, you can email us at ncrpproductions at gmail.com.